it's Alexis welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys an updated everyday makeup products and all the products in this video have changed from my last video not dramatically but I just added a few new products and a different kinds of products and I have a different routine of how I get ready with it so I'm just going to show you guys the products and give you guys a brief description and then give um, the order I do it in. So the very first thing in the morning is I prime my face and I recently used the Smashbox primer but I ran out of it. So I've been hearing a lot about the Nivea Post Shave Balm and I didn't have any of that around my house so I just grabbed this Post Shave Balm that my dad uses in the house and it's the Ovino Active Naturals of Men's Primer, or the, not Primer, Post Shave Balm. And this stuff works amazing, let me just tell you. I thought it wasn't going to work great at all, but I think it works amazing. It works better than any high-end primer I've used. It keeps my makeup on all day in the exact place I put on. And it has this really thick, creamy texture. So it's like really thick and creamy, if you guys could see. It's so it gets really thick and it blends in on your face amazing. And I thought that was going to make my face break out and like feel thick and heavy and just make me break out and make my pores clogged up but it doesn't do that at all it just goes on your face and applies as an amazing base and it keeps your makeup primed completely nice so I really like that about this product and that this is just the primer I use so in the morning I first put my primer on next I moved to doing my eyebrows and this product is literally the holy grail product of every single eyebrow product out there it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and I honestly love this product mine's is in the color chocolate and I think it works amazing so I just use my Dip Brow Pomade every day for my eyebrows as I'm letting the primer sit into my face and a little hack if you have this product already if your eyebrow pomade is starting to dry out, I've had mine for over six months, so it's starting to get a little dry. But I learned that if you put it upside down in the box, so I place the box down like this flat, and then when you open it up, the product is upside down. And I have it upside down like this, if you guys could see. It's upside down. And I place it upside down like that in the box, so it can sit upside down like throughout the whole time until I do my makeup again and it puts all the oils from the bottom and it moves it to the top so it works just like a brand new product and I think it works amazing I definitely would recommend this product if you do not have it so I just use this for my eyebrows after I applied my primer so after I do my eyebrows I start doing my eyeshadow because I like to let my primer sit like completely in and eyeshadow I just have a quick eyeshadow routine that I do every single day if you guys would like to see that give this video a thumbs up and let me know below so this is just the palette I use. I use the Ultra Rose Gold Palette. And I think this palette works amazing. It's definitely not like an expensive high-end eyeshadow palette, but it's also one you could afford. And then like this one because it has a lot more natural, like, it's, it's easier for me to do. It's not, like, hard to do. And this is just what it looks like. And I'll show you guys the colors I use. So I apply my eyeshadow primer. I apply my eyeshadow primer, and I totally forgot to grab that, but after I apply my eyeshadow primer, I just go in with this color right here, Presco, just to set in the primer and everything, and it works amazing to set it in, and then I go with my transition color, and it's the color Breathless, as you guys can see, it's like almost completely out, but I go with that, and right here on my crease, and then the transition color, and it's so beautiful, I honestly love it. And then I go in with this color Sweetheart in my crease mostly every single day. And then I just blend that all in. And then however I'm feeling, I choose whatever sparkles I want to use. Or like the sparkly one on my lid. And then that's just basically it every day for my routine. And I really like this palette. It's something I could do natural. I could do it every day. I could do it in under 15 minutes, honestly. And then, yeah. So I would definitely recommend this palette. It's really pigmented. It's nice. The colors are pretty. And it looks really nice. So after I do my eyeshadow, this is where I start with my face routine. So I didn't normally do a huge ridiculous face routine, but I discovered a color correcting palette and I absolutely definitely fell in love with it. So this is mine. Mine's is just from Ulta and it comes with five colors. Yeah, five colors. And it's amazing. It comes with the color yellow right here, which evens your skin tone, and then green right here. It's a red instructor. I love green concealers. I have a lot of red spots right here under my eyes. And it honestly makes it a holy grail face. And then I use this purple one right here to brighten skin tone. And I usually use that one under my eyes after I applied everything. And it just comes with a light and dark concealer. So I'm basically going to show you guys how to use it. So the green one, I just apply that right here under my eyes where my red patches are. And I uh, apply it like in a square shape. 
And then I go in with this yellow one and it evens out your skin tone. And I just like to do it right here on my jawline and then right here on the sideline. Right there and then it makes my face look amazing. And then I put my foundation all over it and I just blend it in and it looks amazing. And then after that I usually always have dark circles in the morning which I hate. But I just go in right here with the purple one and it brightens my skin tone and makes your eyes look amazing. Like your under eyes will look extremely highlighted and I think it works amazing. And then on days when I feel like getting a little more dolled up I go in with this dark concealer right here. And I do it on the contour line, like right here, and it works amazing as a contour, just like you keep any dark concealer, a darker concealer than you, to give yourself an amazing contour, but that's just basically how I use. I don't really use the light colored concealer, I don't know why I should start using it more often, but that's just basically what I do after I have applied everything else. And then after that, I take my foundation on top of the green one and the yellow one, and yeah. So this is the foundation I use right here, and it's the CoverGirl and Olay one. It's the same one I've always used forever. I absolutely love this, and this one's completely almost gone. I'm kind of debate. I'm kind of really sad on getting rid of it because I haven't seen any of them in stores lately. So this is just the foundation I use, and it's the CoverGirl Olay CC cream, and this one's amazing. I love it. Honestly, when I wear this, I never have to blend it on my neck because it honestly just blends in. I don't know what it does, but it sets amazing on it. So after I put my foundation on, I usually go in with my concealer, and this is the concealer I use to clean up under my eyes, as I, was as I was telling you guys, with my Color and Correcting Palette, and this is also the concealer I use for my eyebrows, to clean up my eyebrows. It's amazing. I love the MAC Pro Longwear. I mean, I don't know who doesn't. It's an amazing product, and I would definitely recommend it, and that's basically what I just do. I just go in my under eyes. So after all my face stuff is done, my foundation is on and everything, I like to go in with this new product I've been using lately. I've seen a lot of setting powders, but I never really figured out how to use it. I bought one and literally didn't touch it, but literally this past, like, two weeks or something, I've been trying out this setting powder, and I love how it sets. It sets my under eyes amazingly perfectly. Mine's is also from Ulta, and it's just the Ultra Pressed Setting Powder, if you guys could see. And I just set my under eyes with it, and then usually my highlight highlighted areas right here under the contour line and it works amazing it keeps it on all day it does not let it fall off or crease or nothing so I just go in basically with my setting powder just to set everything in after that and then after that after everything's set in I just go in with my sculpting palette right here and it just has highlighter a blush and a bronzer this is also from Ulta and most days I just use bronzer because I'm not really a blush person at all, but if I'm feeling like, I don't know, the days I feel like Donna and just doing amazing stuff with my face, I'd use the blush. I never use the highlighter on this. I, I don't know how to work it or whatever. But yeah, I just go with my bronzer and bronze my face up because my face looks completely pale all the time. So I just need bronzer to bronze my face up. And then after I'm done bronzing my face, I go in with this MAC brow finisher and usually you're supposed to put some before you do your brows but I can't do that. I let my brows sit for a while and then I just position them into place with my MAC brow gel, brow wax it I guess you could say and it works great. I like it. It keeps my eyebrows in place all day. So I just apply that after everything's done. And then the very last thing I do with my makeup routine is I apply mascara because Mascara just gets in the way, like if I sneeze or if I have to do something, it just, it's the complete last thing, completely last thing I do. And the mascara I use is just the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. I love the Maybelline mascaras, I definitely recommend them, that's the best brand for mascaras. And this is just what this one looks like. So after that, I just apply my mascara, and that's basically everything I do with my makeup. So yeah, and then the last thing I do is set my face with the setting spray. This is only if I did like my eyeshadow amazing. My face just came out amazing. If it just came out meh, I usually don't put setting spray like on Mondays or whatever. I don't do that. But I just use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is what mine looks like. And it's a purple one. And it works amazing. I like it. I would definitely recommend this product. And I just use that to set in all my makeup after I've done my routine. So this is basically like my whole routine. Plus the products I use. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys would like to see any makeup looks, let me know down below in the comments. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!